number four, Ohio State travels to Minnesota. This is a huge trap game in my mind because next week Ohio State plays probably the only team that will probably give them a chance to lose on the season because they don't play anybody this year in Oregon coming to the shoe. But here, keep an eye on Minnesota. They're getting 14 points. You look at this football team, the way that they played, they've got their entire offensive line returning. They've got the quarterback, Tanner Moore, returning. They've got 10 offensive starters returning. They're playing at home coach. Listen to this, 310, 320, 325, 335. 400. You know what that is? That's the weight of each starting offensive lineman. They're going to wear down the front of Ohio State in this game. Take the 14 points in this game. This is Ryan Day's first quarterback that he's finally had to recruit and develop from the start. He didn't inherit one. He didn't have one transfer in. We're going to see how C.J. Stroud plays the quarterback position, but I like Minnesota taking the points in this game. I don't care what the scores. I think Minnesota scores. Even if Ohio State gets the offense rolling and it scores 40 points in this game, Minnesota will score 30. Those are my numbers. Minnesota is really a very good football team, and Coach Fleck said he really likes his team. But they do have a new offensive coordinator and a guy by the name of Mike Sanford, Jr. I, I love their quarterback, Tanner Morgan, and their running back, one of the best in the entire country, offensive line, big and strong. Yeah, they should be able to move the football if they have some problems at wide receiver. Defense is where Minnesota has some serious problems. They struggled last year. They have eight incoming transfers on defense. Now, how well those transfers play go to determine the outcome of this game. Obviously, C.J. Stroud must be an outstanding quarterback. All the reports out of Ohio is that there won't be much of a drop-off from Justin Fields to C.J. Stroud. Now, that is really saying something. We say, but they have an excellent offensive line. Their secondary was a problem last year. Uh... I still have an awful lot of question marks there, but I think Ohio State is so talented. If they can straighten away their problems in the defensive secondary, Ohio State will prevail in this football game 33-17. to 17.